So my name is Jose Slash Malberti. Um, I go by Sebastian Day to Day Life, and the play that I am here at the O'Neill with is titled Bog Friends. It's about three couples uh, that are all played by the same two actors, and we have a couple. We have two couples that are like modern day, and then we have a couple that they lived like four thousand years ago. It's it's a play about relationships and why it's difficult to leave them and the ways that they linger in your life even when you want to be done with them. And it's also a play about bog bodies and dead things and museums and our human desire to like have history and think about our history. It's a bit of a formal experiment and also a really lovely meditation on relationships and loss, I think. I think the inspiration for Bog Friends for me was really this desire to explore like queer relationships and the ways that different power dynamics and you know jobs and basically everything that goes into a relationship I was interested in exploring that and really also thinking about this human desire to preserve dead things and things that have been around forever and I ended up creating this play that's sort of about like how do we let go of our past relationships do we let go of them ever and how are they sort of like bog bodies in our own little personal museums one of the things that the O'Neill really helped me with was just being able to hear it and then work on it and then hear it again. I was just so grateful for it because I feel so often with these opportunities that you like, you write this play and then you get a reading for it and you only hear it once and you're like, oh, I wish I could like change that or I wish I could edit that. And you don't get to do that until the next reading opportunity comes along, you know? But I think what's so nice about this sort of just like reading instead of a production is that, you know, in a production, if you're like, I'm going to cut that scene and that scene, there's like costumes built for it or like a bunch of sets built for it. It's like you like it's it's not as easy to cut the scene, you know, it's just like it's like, OK, well, thanks. Now, all of the work that we did is like for nothing, you know, like I wish you would have done that beforehand. Whereas here it's like, oh, like I'm going to completely rewrite this. Like, from from for example, for my process, like after the first reading, I had a conversation with Melia, the, the guest artist director, and also with Josh, my director, and Charles, my dramaturg. And we were just talking about one of the scenes and they they all sort of had the feeling that one of them could be sort of expanded or fleshed out or something slightly different could happen. Um, and I was like, you know what? Yeah, like I'll I'll go for it. Like I'll I'll try something new. I'll write a brand new scene. I think rewriting is super important. And I was telling the other playwrights one day when I was doing my rewrites, I was like, wow, it's so fun to do rewrites when you know you're going to like hear them in an hour with like a cast that's sort of like already knows the play. And I think that's really true because so often we're doing rewrites by ourselves, you know, and we're like, I, let me read it and like see if it feels better. But like you don't quite know until you're in the room. And I think the O'Neill provides a really safe um place to experiment and do those rewrites and just like be like, I want to hear this. I think it's probably bad, but can we just hear it? And and that stuff, there's less of a pressure to have like a product that's what you do in a production. So yeah, yeah, I think that's one of the another benefits. For me, the O'Neill was always sort of like the pinnacle of my bucket list, which means that I have to revise what my bucket list is now. It really, I don't know, like really lived up to what it it was what I sort of imagined it would be in my wildest fantasies like I wish it could come every single year like it's it's just that awesome 